This is the Violent Professional Podcast brought to you by AriesClothing.com. I'm a little bit drunk, dude. I'm just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, so we were talking about fucking marijuana. Yeah, talking about edibles. You've never done them before. No, I smoke. So, I, <laughs> stupidly enough, I smoke weed with my... Uh, my friend who was leaving for MEPS for the Navy, like the next day. Oh, dude. Yeah. He gets drug tested. Yeah. And he was like, uh, and they were just like, yeah, we'll just wait six months and then we'll send you to MEPS. Yeah. So, <laughs> Cause this was like, this was at the height of, this was right after 9 11. So they were taking everybody. They, yeah. Yeah. They didn't care. They didn't give a shit. Yeah. 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 Like, oh, you fuck children? All right. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We'll, it's we'll, funny. We'll send you to Afghanistan. <laughs> yeah. So it's fucking horrible. Yeah. But it is what it is. Like I yeah. I personally feel like that like I don't know, cuz you feel dopey like for a month, right? Like for the old shit, I'm trying to think about how marijuana feels. I'm right. Trying to think cuz it's been a while. But... Do you do mostly edible? Do you smoke at all or do you do just edibles? Oh, I've <laughs> I have smoked. Yeah. Yeah. So what's your preferred method? Edibles, edibles, yeah, which is weird because there's a lot of people that don't like that. Why'd you do that under the table? I'm trying to make it not sound like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's good for the episode. Yeah, so it's um, it's a weird thing because it does different things for different people. Some okay. people can't hang with eating it. Some people do better smoking. You know, because you right. can control the. You can control the, uh, you know, smoking it better than you can with edibles because, like I've experienced in the past, you, you eat it, mm -hmm. and then you forget because you just it takes forever for right. it to kick okay. in. It's not like you know when you take an aspirin and it takes twenty minutes. Right. It, it will take like forty minutes to an hour sometimes for you to feel anything, depending on how much you take. So like for me, like I'll take a little bit. And then you think it's not working. Yeah, and you just fucking forget. Yeah. Like, you forget, and you're like, oh, I should probably take something. <laughs> like, and then you're fucking sitting there watching some fucking sh episode of, like, you know, Wiped Out or something. And <laughs> like, you're sitting there, and you're just like, you pop another one, and then, yeah. like, 30 minutes goes by, you're like, oh, like, why are they jumping on balloons? <laughs> like, you know, it's like. It's be, fucking crazy. That'd be tough for me too, because I'm like, I'm not like, I'll bake a tray of brownies, and then like, I'm not one to. Oh, I'll save yeah, these, but it's I'll save different these for dude. tomorrow. It's like, no, I'm gonna eat the whole fucking thing. That's so inconsistent. It's cra It's no. a crazy thing to even talk about. Like, yeah. I'm just being honest. Like, to even understand to fucking boil it down or yeah. or fucking bake it in the oil and shit like that. It's such a non-consistent, even in regulated like formulas. Right. It's such a non-consistent fucking thing. Yeah, like so like one quadrant of whatever you baked or whatever you made out a of it. Quadrant. I don't know, man. I just cut things in force. Um <laughs> but uh that will have like the highest concentration of it because it didn't get mixed yeah. up right. Like fucking blueberries. If you're blueberry making it yourselves, gotcha. Yeah, okay. it's it's like it's pretty inconsistent. You can't it's like making bath salts or crystal meth in your bathtub. <laughs> right. Okay. It's gonna be more. It's gonna be more concentrated in the fucking right. in the fucking drain section, as you. Oh gosh, gotcha. yeah, yeah. Bath salts, you know. <laughs> Do you remember that dude that was like fucking eating people's faces in Florida because he was eating Florida. fucking yeah. fucking bath salts? There was a dude. Yeah. <laughs> what the yeah. fuck? He did bath smoking salts and bath salts. And he's like ah, yeah, like he's... fucking running around naked. And he stabbed a dude like twenty six times. And the and fucking dude let him ate him. Yeah, that's insane. He's like, oh, what are you doing? I can't see. There was a dude who did a, um, like, right after that happened, he dressed up like a zombie, and he was, like, he was chasing, it was the ghetto, and he was just chasing people around, who were, and they were, like, running from him. It was all Bro, over YouTube. That shit was hilarious. Those fucking videos, <laughs> and I'm like, those must be in states where they don't have a, a fucking carry yeah, like a bunch of people Absolutely. carrying. No, so in this in this video, like which most people don't yeah. carry, which is a weird thing, even, even in fucking states where you're allowed yeah. to carry. Yeah, I have friends that have a, a concealed carry, and they're, oh, I don't carry. Well, why the fuck did you get that license? Yeah, that's, yeah. Just, that's the dumbest shit ever. Yeah, I got a driver's license, but I read the bus. <laughs> it's like what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. 
No, but yeah, in a couple of the videos, he got fucking, I'm sure they didn't have carry licenses because these were like gangbangers that he was chasing down the street and like dude pulled a gun on him and pointed it at him and they like freeze the video and circle it. And then the dudes just ran off. Yeah. It's pretty fucking funny. Even if, even if I was out there yeah. and I'm like walking around and somebody in a clown suit came up and was like, yeah. bah! like this, I'd yeah. be like, Bop! like, just fucking drop them. Yeah. That's what you're risking it's, for fucking YouTube fame. Yeah. Like, get the fuck out of yeah. here, you fucking, Absolutely. you fucking cunt. Fuck, yeah. I'm not funny, so I'll just try to scare people and hope, yeah. and hope I don't get shot. Ah! Yeah. So, yeah, the, uh, like, um, the, the inconsistency of edibles is right. fucking so crazy. I've had I've had plenty of times where I fucking have taken too much because I forget that I hate some. Okay. Whereas like if I smoke, I'm just like, oh, I'm high immediately. Like right. within, you know, I sat out I sat outside of my house one time and I was like, I don't I don't know what because I I take edibles and it's mm-hmm. like they list how much it is and it's like this is ten millil milligrams. Right. And you take that amount and then you feel a certain way and you take however many you want or whatever. And you know what you're getting into. It's very consistent, even though it's uncon- inconsistent, if that makes right. sense. Yeah. Because it would be like generally around 10 milligrams. But with smoking, you're just like, how much you fucking puff is like, there's no regulatory amount for that. Yeah, it it all depends on your lung capacity. So for me, the one time I smoked recently, I was sitting there. I like let my dog out, and she was running around taking a shit and fucking grabbing sticks and stuff. And I'm like, I took a fucking puff, and I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there like, hey, hurry up, take a shit. And I'm sitting there, and then I'm continuously going, hey, hurry up. Max schnell. I speak German yeah. to her. I'm like, Max schnell. Yeah. Which means go fast. In yeah. German, for go those fast. Who don't know. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, I'll say shit like, hey, sit down, asshole. Like, but yeah. I speak to her in German just because of fucking whatever reason. I don't yeah. know. I just start doing it. I know German and I fucking start speaking. Yeah. Are you fluent in German? Uh, I know ba- very basic yeah. shit. Con- like, conversation. Uh, yeah. yeah like uh, when I go by, because I was living in Germany for two years. Okay. And so I know like, how much they want for money or right, you know right. what the time is and yeah. like, hey where is this yeah. like where is that and just yeah. basic shit and I can to be able to get yourself yeah out. and I yeah. can understand what they're saying like yeah. I can understand what they're saying even if I don't know the words like yeah. I, I know general mannerisms you, shit like that you can pick the yeah, words yeah. out and then kind of figure out what they're saying so yeah. a, a lot of it revolves around the fucking train station <laughs> yeah. yeah just travel and like basic understanding like yeah. i'm a fucking six-year-old basically like yeah. ah dada yeah ha, papa chocolate yeah. chocolate <laughs> bitter yeah. i need a beer bitter yeah <laughs> yeah give like, me a fucking beer really so we'll we'll get real educational right here if you ever go to germany the only Phrase. Ein Bier bitte. Yeah, Ein Bier bitte, and then wo ist die Toiletten? That's all you <laughs> need to know. Yeah, you know I mean, where's the bathroom? And Ein Bier. One beer. Give me a beer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my mom's uh, fluent in German. Oh, she, she's, is she German? She, yeah, she was a naturalized citizen, so. On her side, I'm a first-generation American. On my dad's side, they've been here for cool. the 1500s. You speak German, you look like an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> there, there's a big correlation right yeah, there. Yeah, it's true. A lot of Germans true. are assholes. They do look like they've been fucking chewing on a big turd for fucking ever. <laughs> when I was in, living in Germany for yeah. two years, yeah. I lived there for two years. What, um, what part did you live in? Wiesbaden. Wiesbaden, okay. Uh, looks like yeah. Wiesbaden. Yeah. Wiesbaden, yeah. Ma- fucking Germany. W's no. or V's. Wiesbaden, Germany. Wiesbaden, Deutschland. Yeah. Um, I was living in an apartment in, uh, in downtown. It was super dope. Yeah. Um, and I had a, a, a Weimarana, Weimarana, yeah. a Weimaraner. Yeah. <laughs> Gray dog. You ever see yeah. them? They got crop tails. They're super mm-hmm. dope. I don't know why they crop their tails. They look super weird when they fucking don't crop their tails. Yeah. 
but I have one of those in Germany. Um, and I let the dog shit in a garden one time, mm-hmm. and some fucking kraut <laughs> grabbed the turd and put it in my fucking. So we have these uh, apartments, yeah, marble floor, like pristine marble floor. Nice, fucking nice, dude. And they knew me as the Americanish in the yeah. fucking building, dude. Yeah, and uh. Because I was the only fucking American living in this fucking city. Yeah. And, like, I let my dog shit in the fucking bush one time in the garden. It's like fucking peat moss and shit. Fucking, <laughs> like, what's that shit? They fucking put these wood chips. What is that called? Oh, uh, Beauty Bark. Right? Yeah, Beauty yeah, Bark. Yeah. They put it in there and I let the dog shit there. <laughs> yeah. I was walking. I was like, fucking Shiza. <laughs> yeah. Fucking let him shit in there. We kept walking. Well, I came back to my house. Yeah. Like a fucking hour later, we were running. Came back, and I was like all hyped from the fucking, fucking run. <laughs> and there was on the marble floor, like this white, pristine marble floor. There was some of the beauty bark and a dog shit in yeah. front of my apartment door. I was like, what? "Fucking crowds, yeah. you fucking piece of shit! Yeah. This I- is why we kicked their shit out of you in fucking World War II, you dumb fucking Nazis!" Yeah, we fucking. I'll teach you a lesson. This very passive aggressive. Yeah. You yeah. fucking cunt. We I think you we You cunty ass Germans, you were a fucking pristine fucking super super soldier. That's for fucking th- ever. And then what you do? You do some passive aggressive shit and you put a dog turd in front of my <laughs> fucking apartment building door. Passive Fuck you. At least come to me and say I'm going to fucking euthanize your ass. Oh Jesus. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, that's, you fucking kraut fucks. That's kind of all they have left, though. Like, when you think about it, like... like I will get him yeah. with the Zupa Z. I, I don't <laughs> have enough balls to go after him, so I will just... Eat benign gets him. I, I will just leave the turd <laughs> on his front doorstep. Yeah. <laughs> and then run off and laugh from across the court. Yeah. But, like, we were talking about this the other day. Like I would jump in <laughs> Das Kubelwagen. <laughs> Das Flutterling! Was does that even mean? <laughs> Kubelwagen. <laughs> German, like, is it weird? Like, to me, German is one of the easiest languages to just oh, make up words it's... that sound German. Bro, what's weird about German, it's so it's... different about, it's so different than all of the surrounding. It's yeah. similar, but fucking yeah. different. If you go to, like... Uh, France or Italy. You, where's the... Uh, the Netherlands. Yeah. It's like... The Netherlands is like a combination of German and English. It's yeah. fucking weird. And it makes sense that it's different. You right. where you can't understand, but it's like a combination of both. German is like they say things and it's like just to be different. Yeah. It's just to be fucking different. But you can understand what when you're there, you can yeah. understand what they're saying. Right, right, yeah. You're like you're sitting there and with this look in your eye and I'll go like that's something like <laughs> The fuck you say to me? (laughs) (laughs) And it's it's always offensive. It's always fucking horrible. But they say it. They're like, (laughs) sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Stupid American. It's it's such a guttural language, too. It's so hard to wrap your mouth around how to say some of those words. It's insane. Because I I took it for- They have like 20 20 fucking seven letter language yeah. fucking words and there's not even 27 letters because they make up a fucking double yeah. s thing yeah 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 the s set or whatever you know yeah. what, you know what my favorite part is you know what a fucking p is called there epsilon what yeah. the fuck <laughs> just say p it's so much quicker yeah yeah even pa like say pa dude or some shit yeah yeah pa pa fucking pa epsilon get the fuck out of here what are they? The Straza is like S T R A weird Double fucking S, ass yeah. thing, and then so an the, E. So the S set for those that don't know, it's like a B with an extended tail. Yeah, yeah. dude, B. Yeah, that's like a long B, but it means two S's in a row. It's, it's fucked up. I was like, uh, I was, uh, I would go home at night from working and stuff, and. I would always drive by like the the German volleyball team yeah. advertisements, and I never went and checked it out. Males? The whole time I was there, no, it's female. Females, okay. They don't fucking advertise I male. Sh- I don't even think German fucking German dudes play volleyball. I have seen it in the Olympics. Yeah, but n- they don't the advertise Olympics, that so. shit. Yeah. yeah, 
But I would drive by it, and I'm like, oh, I should go there. It was, like, yeah. right by my apartment. You I lived should. in downtown Wiesbaden, yeah. which is, like, the only German city that didn't get bombed because it was yeah. the most, most wealthy thing. Yeah. Which is weird. My last name's Wilhelm. Yeah. And they have statues of Kaiser Kaiser Wilhelm, Wilhelm yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Which is funny. Everybody's like, thinks some certain things. They're like, whatever. Oh, yeah. And when I tell them my last name's Wilhelm, they're like, it's like, what? <laughs> yeah. I thought you were Scottish. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I have some Irish, D- Irish yeah. DNA in me, but I, like, my last name's Wilhelm. I, yeah. I, it was weird walking around there, and I'm like, oh, there's, I could be related to Wilhelm, yeah. Wilhelm yeah. old Kaiser, yeah, who was outed eventually because they're like, yeah. you're a piece of shit. Who, a Bring lot. on Hitler! Yeah. <laughs> He's better! We don't like him. We he like went, he went guy. from fucking the, the last Kaiser. I just looked it up recently. The last Kaiser, Wilhelm, yeah. went to like live a very humble life from being the king of Germany right. to live in like... I'm a chop wood and fucking don't bother me. Yeah, that's what he fucking gets for <laughs> allowing Kanyeism to yeah. prosper. So, did you say Kanye? Con Kanyeism? <laughs> Is that like Kanyeism? Easy. Communism. Yeah, yeah. Because he's a socialism, one of, fascism. Social. Dude. Yeah, yeah. So, well, because do you know a lot about fascism in Nazi yeah. Germany? Yeah. Well, so you want to go over it while I grab more beer? Yeah. Well, I'm giving a segue so you could talk about fucking kraut shit. Yeah. So, well, my grandma actually served in Luftwaffe. So there's there's that. So and, and that's that's what's interesting for World War Two for me is because I had my grandpa served with the Americans in World War Two, and then my grandma and her brother served in the. And then I could just Vermont imagine, yeah, I could just so. imagine on top of those wings, and she's flying around all yeah. gleefully. She's just like, she, I will kill you, America. Yeah. And then they fucking a wing in airborne. She, she took time. She's like, I'm gonna give you a fam ride, dog. So and she, she's like. She's got that German accent. They're flying yeah. around, and she's like, "This isn't supposed to happen." Right. The command would kill me if she knew I was knew I was fraternizing with the fucking American the American, soldier. And he's yeah. like, "Get down there!" And he doggy styles her, <laughs> styles her on top of a plane. That's your grandparents. Yeah. This, this you are-, are the product of two <laughs> fucking fucking fighters fucking yeah. on an airplane some, airborne while so, it's flying around some horny ass war fighters yeah they're just like i gotta get this nut off real quick <laughs> i don't get she's like hitler be damned i'm gonna let you <laughs> fucking look at my box from behind <laughs> these are all thoughts i've never had about my grandma you Thank see you. the hood uh, yeah you see the hood over top of it like this this podcast in reverse <laughs> do this peter i want you to do this like go like this and this is what your grandfather's penis looked like reversed from the inside. Why is it black? <laughs> yeah. Of course it is. Because of the shadow, bro. Oh, <laughs> and it's like one of those videos. Yeah. It's like one of those videos of watching people fuck from the inside. Oh, God. Yeah. I know. It's like. Ah. Is, it, is it bad that you brought that up or bad that I know exactly what you're talking oh, about? Oh, all of it's yeah. bad. It's this bad. isn't a good podcast. No. This is the bad podcast. We went quick from edibles <laughs> to like fucking American on German fucking intercourse and and watching like from, from the inside <laughs> while they're on top. Like yeah. you imagine this. Like people yeah. imagine this. Yeah. This is the shot of Peter's grandparents fucking from the inside of her belly, and the product <laughs> like. But in 1943 Germany. Yeah, like 45. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Right when the Nazis. We're doing all that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Talk about that. Yeah. I'll grab more beer. So the Nazis. I need it. The Nazis were bad people, if you didn't know that. But not everyone in Germany was a Nazi. I bet you didn't know that. No, my grandma served in the Luftwaffe. She was uh, a uh, spotlight operator on the Eastern Front. So she shot down Russian bombers. My family has a disdain for Russians. Communist Russians. Yeah, but what uh, what we got onto this is uh, Kaiser Wilhelm. A little history lesson for you here. He wanted to get Russia out of World War One, but they wouldn't uh, surrender. So he allowed Lenin to come. He like set up the train and allowed Lenin to come through his country to create the Bolshe- Bolshevik Re- Revolution in Russia, with the stipulation that they would back out of World War One, and that's where communism came from. Thank you, Kaiser Wilhelm. There we go. You motherfucker. It's not my fault. Yeah. Well, it was your grandfather's fault. 
I'm just here with sick Three. ass knives, dude. Yeah. That's a yeah. Knives are like I, I know you like knives, but like everybody No, like, I don't like knives. Don't like. I like it because it cuts stuff open. Yeah, we like yeah. No, I mean, you like it for And that's the funny thing is people like knives nowadays because this cuts is, my meat. This is so cool. Which meat? Uh, I get the London broil. Okay. I get a little bit of fucking tri tri tips my favorite tri-tip. actually. I like it. You know, uh, I like it because it's economical. Yeah. Yet it tastes good. It's got a lot of that fucking marbling, dude. Yeah. The mar- <laughs> you have to get the right marbling. A little bit yeah. drunk. <laughs> Where do you get your, do you get your steaks from like the store? I try to go to a butcher. Yeah. I don't try to go to fucking grocery Safeway store. or some yeah. shit like that. Yeah. Tacoma Boys. Have you been to Tacoma Boys? Probably not because you live down here. Not. I, I know. forget that we're not in Tacoma. Yeah. I can't stand that smell of the fucking place, dude. Tacoma Roma. It smells like two jizz. Jizz socks. So we just talked about Tacoma Aroma, but like yeah, what, what people episode. don't realize what it is is it's so right next to the I five. We didn't we didn't even get into what, what actually is. Yeah. is the Tacoma Aroma right next to I five. It I5 smells is, horrible. Yeah. Right next to I five. It's is, a it's a it sets you back. You're like, what the yeah. fuck is that smell? It's like, like anything you've seen. You're like, man, this city is beautiful. And then you get donkey kicked in the mosque yeah. into the nostrils <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> as you're Bro. coming past the Tacoma Dome. It's a well, sewage, we got we got the same thing down here. It's a sewage. We get the mushroom facility. farm. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's over by Mark's Mushroom house. Corner, every, bro. Every time I go to Mark's, it house, smells like there's fifty. Fifty rats burning at any yes. given time with like jalapeno peppers because it's spicy. Oh, dude, it's, it's got like a. Spicy it does it smell like, and it. it's weird because it's mushrooms, right? Yeah, they grow on shit. I yeah. could understand if we're near a mushroom plant and it smells like horse shit. Yeah, but it doesn't smell like that. It smells like it smell. I can't even yeah. fucking. It's it 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 smells like a. A fucking rodent holocaust or some it's, shit. It's, it's like someone took horse shit and rat shit and rat piss and then mixed in like pepper spray with it, and that's what it smells like. It's fucking. It's we horrible. can smell it down here sometimes. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah. I remember I was driving up I five. I was driving up I five. Windows up, and I could smell it on I five. Yeah. Bro, that's and that's gnarly, like a fucking yeah. mile away from it. It's <laughs> so fucking gnarly. Have you smelled like a meth lab before? No. So I used. To, I don't usually get down on that. I used to commute up to Kent, and Auburn is like the meth capital of Washington. Oh yeah, yeah. So you would drive for anybody that didn't know that. Yeah. This episode has been brought to you by methamphetamine. Yeah. <laughs> Come to Auburn, king of meth. Yeah. Methamphetamine. Yeah. It's also brought brought to you by Wikipedia, yeah. <laughs> where you could find how to make methamphetamines. Yes. I have taken meth before. Have you? What did uh, it be In the original Jack 3D. Jack oh, 3D. that's right. Yeah, bro, yeah. that shit was fucking fire. Yeah. Like, but that's refined. Yeah. I remember the first time I took Jack 3D, because it was spelled Jack with the number three and then D. And I had never taken a pre-workout in my life. Yeah. And my buddy, we were headed to work when I was in the military. And he's like, bro, you ever take fucking pre-workout? And I'm like, no, dude. And it was right when I was getting into working out pretty heavy. Yeah. <laughs> and he gave me one fucking, it was a tiny fucking scoop. Put it in fucking water. And it was like, I fucking, we were driving. It was like 10 <laughs> minutes after I took it. I was like. What is this stuff? And I was like, I just felt amped up, like, Aah! I was like all fucking, Aah! like sitting there. He's like, calm the fuck down. And we didn't even get to work yet. We were right by that train, that train bridge where the fucking Amtrak train fell off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we're like driving up fucking there, and I was like, no oh, energy legs. Like it was like the old fucking. Uh, yeah. It was like the old fucking energy legs video that they had. <laughs> Bro, I had fucking ranger legs, all kinds of energy legs. Holy shit. And I was sitting there and I was just fucking flexed out and I walked in. My fucking <laughs> neck was getting a workout just being there. We went in. We didn't even jack steel, bro. We didn't even jack any steel. We just walked around and fucking talked about how good we felt. And I just kept taking it. 
And I got real swole, and we didn't even do anything, dude. You're just, you're just yeah. fucking around flexing just all day. <laughs> we, we fucking, I remember there were plenty of times where we fucking took that shit, and we went and like did curls, and everybody's just all wide-eyed looking at each other. We're like, I feel fucking amazing. And we walk back to our team rooms, and we just look at each other and fucking go, ah! And like... We'd fucking sit there and no work it out, but we got bigger and stronger. Like, and it was fucking weird. And we got so fucking jacked. And I would remember there was one time where I sat there. I was like, I don't even need to work out anymore. This is amazing. <laughs> and then the FDA yeah. figured out what was happening. It's like, <laughs> oh. I was like, dude, if I was, if I didn't know what meth was, I would totally take it. Yeah. Like, cause this, if this one is, if this is the refined version, yeah. holy fuck. Like, yeah, if you if you could just find a place that makes clean shit. Yeah, of like, you yeah. watch everybody like after yeah. a month of taking, everybody yeah. had scabs and shit all over their face, <laughs> like from the itchy. Yeah, right? just I'm so itchy, and you're fucking <laughs> gripping your skin off, and like oh, Jesus. Jack 3D back oh, in the day, man. dude. It still exists, but it's so weak. Yeah, it's just caffeine now because it doesn't have meth. No yeah. one knows. Yeah. yeah, I remember you fucking you would. Dude, you got so accustomed to fucking Jack 3D that you would take that scoop, and when the powder went up, you were like, "Oh!" You were fucking raging out, dude. Oh, just ready to fucking rip. Just some generic out. label on it that just Fuck. said Jack 3D, yeah. lowercase yeah. D, bro. What's oh. what's in it? And like our premium blend, and that's it. It's like this is gonna be. There was shit. Bro, this was before Ephedra was illegal. Yeah, Ephedra, like methyl, yeah. whatever the fuck it was. Yeah. People Dope. were having fucking heart attacks. Yeah. Because they put them in like like fat miracle pills. So like, you take this and you'll you'll fucking lose a bunch of weight. So yeah, all dude. These <laughs> fat motherfuckers, me being one of them. I didn't take it, but like all these people started taking it and they were so out of shape that it just exploded their heart. Oh, yeah. It's like, fuck, man. That was, yeah. How far we've come. And just everything's illegal now. Oh, talking to people. Like, I'm yeah. sur- in the future, dude, I guarantee that free speech will be illegal yeah oh at absolutely. some point yeah yeah it already it it's already, illegal other places but like like us being able to talk freely yeah. like this it's already like black market illegal oh dude you know what i mean like with social media sites and yeah stuff like that. we don't like that report it yeah you gotta be yeah. you gotta be okay with with the free speech and cancel culture you gotta be okay to just say fuck you yeah that that's the I I see that as the like one of the big problems with all these mm. fucking mainstream people is they they just let people run all over them. It's like right. Yeah, I've talked about it a few times on the podcast, but like Chris D'Elia and mm-hmm. Brian Callen got shut down because they were fucking eighteen year old chicks. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah, Brian Callen's a different story. Like supposedly twenty years ago, he raped somebody, but. Right, it's all found to be bullshit because they just go in these new door news articles and then there's nothing else past it. Right, yeah, yeah. nothing else past it. It's just They're an just accusation. Like, yeah, yeah. You look at the person's career and it's like, oh, you haven't doing, sh- haven't been doing shit. It was your yeah. way to fucking, you know, at this point, you could just say I was raped and then you're fucking on the news again. Yeah, to get like to extend your fifteen yeah. minutes of fame or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's and and that's kind of like what we're talking about, like uh, freedom of speech. It's like right now you have, and and it's crazy. It's crazy to me that people are like, oh no, it's not. The media is not biased, and and social media is not biased. It's who like, says yes, that? The people who people in the media, the people in the media, <laughs> the people in the media, and the people that agree with that narrative. Yeah, yeah, you know I mean. So it's like, yeah, you're all for this right now because the voices that you disagree with are being silenced. But what happens when the shoe's on the other foot? Like, are you still going to – and you're not. And that's the thing is, like, you don't realize how fucking bad it is because it's, like, it's your team. And that's what's so broken right now is it's, like, it's not okay if your team does it, but it's okay if my team does it. Where do you stand point. politically? I think I'm, I recently just started yeah. talking about it. I started talking about being libertarian, but kind yeah. of on the fence about it because yeah. we have such shitty candidates. Yeah. Good space guy. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. I was hoping for a good space guy. I voted for, uh, what's his name? Welty. For, um, or I think that's that's coma position. Like, for which position? There's a like, fucking 50,000 that nobody it's like, understands. It's like insurance commissioner. <laughs> Who the fuck? <laughs> Who the fuck? Is that going to change your life? For Pierce County, I don't know, but yeah, but it's yeah, it's, it's so. 
Um, I'm probably middle of the road, probably more right leaning, more conservative. Yeah, but I, I wouldn't say I'm definitely not Republican and I'm definitely not Democrat, but I am conservative. Like I'm a true conservative. You know what I mean? Smaller government and stuff like that. So people are like, oh, you're libertarian. It's like, ah, I, didn't, I don't think nah, I can... libertarian's a little bit weird. Yeah. I identify as that just yeah. because like it's what you agree with the most. Sort of, but every every fucking time I start listening to their fucking positions, it's yeah. like it goes. They don't know what the fuck they want, right? Yeah, because any every other candidate, they're non consistent, right? Yeah, they'll they'll be like, abortion is bad, and then they'll go yeah. like fucking yeah, abortion isn't bad. It's like why is that even a fucking thing we're talking about? Like literally. Like what libertarianism ism should be is like government is smaller and you yeah. shouldn't fucking tell me what to do. And in a nutshell, that's what it should be. But, that's but then what, you have people that get so – I like yeah. because of the left and the right, like far yeah. extremes like Biden and Trump, yeah. you can't have a fucking middle. You yeah. can't have somebody who's just like, I want to live my life without fucking thinking about you. <laughs> right, yeah. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And that's I think that's what's craziest is that that Trump is considered far right now because I mean he was he's he's a New York Republican. He's like more middle of the road. But, yeah, yeah. But the left is like the Democrats are so fucking far left now that now middle of the road seems extreme right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just it's insane. You know what I mean? If you look at um anybody towards the center, yeah. It screams anarchy. Yeah. Because what's the definition of anarchy against yeah. government, right? Yeah. It's no government. You can't yeah. be a part of that. Yeah. And it's a great political campaign against that fucking idea. Right. About prepper. No, I'm not talking about preppers. It's like, who's that person you were talking about today? They're homesteaders. Yeah. Homesteading's illegal, basically. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, in, in Tacoma, you can't even collect the rainwater that comes off of your roof. Yeah, dude. You'll get fucking fined for it. It's yeah, like, bro. What? It's free. Yeah. It doesn't go any. That's, that's the fucking thing. Like, people think, like, the the biggest bullshit thing yeah. ever that has ever existed, ever. You could talk about global warming, all that yeah. shit, and have cases either side. But the biggest bullshit ever is shortage of water. Yeah. That's the biggest oh, bullshit absolutely. Absolutely. that has ever been, fuck, aside from fucking yeah. all, uh, a bunch of things, but the biggest bullshit is, is the shortage of water. Yeah. Like, I could understand, like, pollutants of water, mm -hmm. but eventually there's going to be fucking a hot day, and yeah. the water's going to separate from the fucking chemicals and all the bullshit that was in it. Yeah. It's not, chemicals aren't going to go yeah. up into the air for the same fucking thing as, Because like, they're heavy. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. sit in the fucking same pond as that, but that water goes on a mountain somewhere and drifts down and gets filtered. Yeah. You never drink fucking rainwater. That's yeah. fucking on, the, like, I was talking to my son the other day, I'm like, he's like, if we run out of water, we could just go over here and drink it. I was like, yeah, but we won't because yeah. you could get some bacteria or something, yeah. something from you there get, that might kill us. You get that beaver fever. Yeah. yeah. You got to filter it. But yeah. that's what, it, like, that's the biggest fucking bullshit ever. Like, they even these days. Yeah. You can, and not even these days. You've always been able to filter fucking salt water. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Like, as simple as a trash bag and a fucking piece of heavy something in the center with the fucking drainage yeah, thing. To make it drip. We yeah. just don't know how to do it. So buy our bottle of water yeah. for $2. Like, yeah. what the fuck are you talking about? Like, $3 for yeah, a Yeah, dude. Yeah. It's biggest, got electrolytes. It's biggest, got what plants need. You know, you could... I know you said you're religious, but you could yeah. look at a lot of shit yeah. and be like, it's the biggest scam since religion is bottled water. Right, right, yeah. You know? So I'm I I will go as far to say that I'm more spiritual than I am religious. Exactly. Yeah, I definitely same. had I definitely had a falling out with church just from stuff that happened with yeah. the church that I grew up in. Yeah, you know I mean, and it's just kind of like, mm. you want to hear something about me? People think I'm the satanist fuck person, right? Yeah. I went to church for a good portion of my life. Yeah. I don't know why I'm speaking fucking like this, but yeah. I am. It goes back as to, soon as I start talking about religion. It goes back to what we were talking about yeah. earlier. So I'm not going to say the church because it's a great church. Right. I'm not. I'm not going to bring that up. Yeah, they're an amazing church. They've been very successful. They've had a lot of people join them. They've expanded, mm -hmm. which is weird in itself. They shouldn't be as fucking bleep, as big as they are. Right. If they're not taking money and fucking doing stuff with it. Right. Um. 
I, when I was going through my divorce, I was in a very fucking bad spot financially, mm-hmm. mentally, all that stuff. And that was like within five years ago. Right. So I started going to this church and just to change the stuff up. My friend said, what could it hurt? Just come here and blah, the same standard recruitment shit. That right, do, right, right, yeah. See so if you like it. If you don't like yeah. it, then you don't have to come in. And I ended up going yeah. for like fucking a good period of time because it was like everybody was nice. Yeah. All that stuff. Um, there were some things that spoke to me. You know, maybe I could change things up. Mm-hmm. I will say that it made me who I am in a way. Yeah. You know, you take a little, every experience that you have in your life. Yeah. And it influenced me to be a better person. Mm -hmm. And then I was there for fucking, hold on, plot thickets. I was there for a little bit, and they shut service down for fucking three weeks because there was a police investigation on the guy that kept taking money from people for the tithes and offering. Mm. He was fucking dipping in the fucking pot and buying new camera equipment because he was fucking his children in his basement and videotaping and selling the fucking videos on the black market. Yeah. So I stopped going to fucking church yeah, at that point. Absolutely. Yeah. And what fucked me up even more is that everybody that kept going after they shut the church down for a little bit is they kept telling me, like, well, it's just Satan working in the background. I was yeah. like, no. That's no, 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 no. We were all given free if we believe in the Bible and the fucking yeah. religion, we were all given free will. That dude just yeah. Was fucked up. Didn't... And I'm not saying he consciously chose to fuck his kids. Yeah. He had something fucking wrong with him. Right, yeah. Absolutely. That's what I'm saying with the free will shit. Yeah. He had something fucking medically wrong with him where he decided to do all that shit. Right. I don't believe in the fucking... Me, speaking from a spiritual perspective, mm-hmm. I don't believe in the Satan made you do this. God made you do this. Right. I think yeah. there's a higher power, right? Like, Absolutely, yeah. I don't think it guides anything. I think it creates, right? But you believe in... Do you believe in the batter, battle between good and evil? Uh, it, it's Sort of. Yeah. In a sense, yes. I don't believe in Satan, and I don't believe in the depiction of God. And it, and it, and it just boils down to this... Because there's so there's thirty thousand different belief systems right. in the world to where I can't buy off on any of them. Right, right. You know what I mean? But they're all worshiping God, right? And yes. So so it's, but what it's, is if they're all different and yeah. even Buddhism and all that right. stuff? What? How can you look at any of them and right. just be completely bought off and purchased on something well, specific? Well, and even and even when you look at it, so like w- with Islam, people are like, well, Islam, they're they're worshiping this way and this way, yeah, but they believe in God. They believe in the same God that I believe in. They I'll just say, choose. They choose to worship it a different yeah, way, right? I will say this: that if this podcast exists, right? If this TV behind you with this m- fucking flower, oh, if we even sit here and drink this. Banquet of Coors Light yeah. that we've been partaking on. The silver gold. This bounty of Coors Light. <laughs> then there's got to be something bigger. Yeah. And if it's, you know, people like science, religion, right. I think they're all in the same. Yeah. I think it's all in the same and nobody fucking understands. We understand, if we look at science, we understand 10%. They That's can say that. There. Yeah. Mathematically, they understand 10% of what actually happens. Mm-hmm. Whole 90%. Right. You know what I mean? No idea. No one knows who's pulling the fucking strings behind. Right. Do I believe it's a man that looks like either of us? Probably not. I think it's a fucking mathematical equation, maybe. Yeah. Who knows? I don't think people... Are, I don't think there's somebody out there going like, you're going to drink today. Or yeah. You're going to fucking... Yeah. You're going to make a bad decision. It's in the I cards, think, yeah. I think it's... Because it's so... I Like, I can't buy off on that there's somebody one right. single figure that's just sitting there saying this is happening right you know what yeah. i mean you yeah. know what i mean like am I, is that make sense no no no. it makes sense because i i feel the same way right as people are, and and this is one of my least favorite sayings in in christianity is god has a plan if no I, that's just you you witness some horrible shit and you don't know what to say to the person because you don't know how to console them. So you say God has a plan. It's like, so my it gives people some sort of, yeah, something to hold on solitude to. in yeah. the fact that there's 
Oh, there's so, something greater coming. I but if a, you're just a giant piece of shit after yeah. you fuck up, yeah. then you're still going to be a fuck up. Like if you just yeah. if you're just a shitty person and they're like, I'm just going to fucking drink and smoke weed and right. do this meth and then things this will is God's it's God's plan. plan. Yeah. You make no. an active decision and that's yeah. in every religious text ever. Yeah. yeah. Right? It's it's a fucking it's free will. Yeah. You have free will. Absolutely, yeah. And if we look at the classical sense of God, like looking down and going like this, and yeah. if we look at the fucking text and say free will, then he's not going to be dicking it. He's not going to put his dick beaters in there. Right. You ever seen God jerk off? <laughs> no. I kind of like it. <laughs> and now people can imagine. Yeah. He's just sitting there jerking off on fucking yeah. cloud nine, just like, oh, yeah. That sounds more like Greek <laughs> mythology. Yeah. Greek mythology is Greek big mythology. on rape and and, yeah. and God's jerking off. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what Ares is about, right? Yeah. 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 The God of War. And butts He was an asshole. He was, yeah. That's the thing. I like, you know, we talked prior to this. I don't like to talk about the other stuff we got going on, but Ares was kind of a piece of shit. Yeah. And so I try to portray that sometimes. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> he's like the God of War and pestilence. Yeah, you know I mean, so fucked his sister yeah. and shit. It's fucking weird. Yeah, Zeus wasn't much better though. You know what I mean? Like how uh, Hercules came around. I mean, Zeus was. Just... Yeah, Zeus was like, Ares, would you please stop being yeah. so aggressive? And he's like, Yeah, eh, fuck you, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go fuck up this whole village. <laughs> He's like, oh, <laughs> the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Yeah. The, thing, the thing that I find weird about the whole the Zeus legend and stuff is like he didn't transform himself into a dude. It would be like a fucking condor that came down and raped a village woman. And then Hercules came. <laughs> yeah. like, what the what the fuck, dude? Yeah, dude. I'm like you're benevolent. And well, I'm going to be a condor. I'm going to fuck all these chicks in this village. Greek mythology. That was. I mean, if my, you're gonna do, if you're gonna be any subject. bird that fucks the whole village, you might as, might well, as well be a condor, California condor. And the Greeks were like, "What the fuck is California? It's got a fucking twenty five <laughs> foot wingspan." <laughs> they're like, "What's this?" And they're like, "Oh my god, I'm orgasming." <laughs> Hercules. <laughs> yeah, Perseus. That was probably my favorite subject in high school was the Greek mythology, just because there's so much just crazy shit that happened. So it was Greek mythology, but it was Greek history too. Like yeah. we studied we studied the Peloponnesian War and stuff, which is for those that don't know, the Peloponnesus is like Sparta and, <laughs> and the Corinthians and shit, and they went fucking to war. History lesson. Yeah, they went. I dude, I love history. Like history is what? Is what about lesson. history makes you love it so much? I don't. It's just so we think we always think we're at the peak of society, right? And it's like yes, like I said before, where it's it's just hubris. Like the Romans were doing brain. I surgery, would disagree. I mean, so okay, so because you can't always agree that you're at the peak of society when you live in the 1990s. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Everyone agrees unanimously. Yeah, that it was horrible. The nineties. Yes, we had some good stuff in the nineties. David, Hasselhoff. we have good stuff every, everywhere. Everywhere, but it's like I have that fucking wait, thing that where it's like they drive a a bus off a bridge, and that dude with a giant fucking black cock is in the back fucking seat. You know what I mean? In the in the nineties, are we talking about speed? I took Keanu it. <laughs> Great movie. <laughs> yeah. Fucking ridiculously <laughs> great movie. What if every Keanu Reeves movie ever has to do with the Matrix? Yeah. We're going to get into some other shit right now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Seriously. I have some theories about fucking so, Keanu Reeves. So I, I read a theory the other day about John Wick, which... Did you read it from my page? Maybe it was. I don't know. I, was, I, I forget where it was. I have a fucking we're, theory. We're, and people, for oddly enough, people are not just going, yeah, that could be. They're no. just like, no fucking way, bro. <laughs> I'm like, why are you so, <laughs> why is that not possible? There's just no fucking way. I'm like, you yeah. realize that John Wick is a movie, right? Like yeah. somebody wrote it out of yeah. their brain. They're like, That's yeah. not a real story. That's actual history. So tell me what you're going to yeah. say. I'll let you speak. So I feel like, so what you were saying with, with the whole, and, and I haven't seen any of the John Wick movies. You know what I mean? You haven't seen any no, John? not a one. Bro. Yeah. I need to. Bro. I need to. Everybody's like, he reloads guns like in real life. Like He does. That's the coolest part. And that's, and that's cool. It's so, yeah. John Wick movies, like the one thing from like a gunfighter perspective. Yeah. I've spent a little gunfight in my yeah. life. It's very realistic to watch. That's why you went yeah. to- 
to fucking Terran tactic, uh, yeah. Terran whatever the fucking that, yeah, that now disgraced dude. Who? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. He's making yeah. videos with fucking Joe Rogan. Yeah, what? Is he? The precious. Um, yeah, he just dropped a video today. But uh, yeah, but, like he relate like it's the one thing about like other movies where it's like a six shooter. Right. This is in the past. Six shooter will have like yeah. twenty bullets. Yeah, but. It, in John, John, John Wick, Wick if you her. look at it from a perspective, they will do what's what's that? Do I have a mag right there? Um, I have a mag that's full up for whatever. 15, 15, 16 rounds. Yeah, for a it will have a full up clip, and the yeah. do, 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 when they do the uh, you can sit the there shots, and, you can count them. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's cool. And when he reloads, it's like yeah. real time. It's not right. You know, you can be as fast as shit with fucking reloads. You can yeah. drop it out and have a mag up and go yeah. like that. But it's only as fast as people can do it. So, that's like, cool. that's the one part about John Wick that everybody... Like, if you focus on that... Yeah. You're it's fucking golden. Yeah. You could have a shit movie. Yeah. Like, if you look at John Wick from a fucking storyline perspective, yeah. it's like, it makes no fucking sense. He's fucking fighting all these Russians over a dog. Like, but it's so dope because you, every had, guy would If you had that skill set and some Russians killed your dog, yeah, you'd do the same thing. Yeah. It's not great acting. Can we agree on that? I haven't seen it. So I'll take your it's word for it. Keanu Reeves in The Matrix. It's not great acting, that even a, though he knows Gang Fu. That was amazing acting. <laughs> but uh, I feel like it, you're probably right. Like, all this is just going to tie into The Matrix. But you know what movie it's? I didn't say shit. I want you to formulate your own perspective in so, this thought experiment we're doing right now. So The Matrix is just Neo's training program from The Matrix, right? I want okay. you to build this because okay. I'm already getting right. excited about what right. you're saying. Start over. Okay. So <laughs> just start over. Okay. So th- there's. And I want there are no misconstrue that I haven't yeah. said to the fucking Wook anything yeah. about what I think. Just yeah. go. Okay. So build it. I, I read build a little, this shit. I read a little bit of the theory that the Matrix has everything to do with. So we'll we'll go all the way back to like Point Break, right? So that's just Neo trying to learn. Like he just wants to learn how to surf. Boom. There you go. That was the surfing program. I love it. You know what I mean? And then you go to John Wick, and that's the weapon handling program. You've seen right? The Matrix, obviously. Yeah. Uh, yeah okay, because yeah, yeah. the way you're talking, you're yeah. talking about his downloading information yeah. Yeah. code or into you, his body. Right? Okay. You stick a big robot dick in the back of your head and, and learn stuff. I just want to yeah. say this. I, I'm i not getting into my theory about what it is. I'll, yeah. tell, you, I'll tell you what my theory is after okay. you go through your whole fucking thing. Okay. But I told somebody my theory today, and they're like, yeah. there's no, no fucking way it would ruin John Wick for fucking everybody. Yeah. And I'm like, you mean to tell me if you found out that this is what it was, that you wouldn't, you would just be like, fuck John Wick. And I'm yeah. like, no fucking way. Yeah. He's like, I totally would. I was like, <laughs> okay, good. continue. So I feel like everything will be revealed, not in the new, because apparently they're making like a new Matrix movie or a new John Wick movie or something like that with, with Keanu Reeves. Can I tell you this part? Yeah. Tell me. John Wick and The Matrix are coming out on the same day. Same day. So here's, John Wick 4, yeah. Matrix 4, here's, same day. Here's what everyone forgets. Those are going to be regular movies. You're not going to get any spoilers. It's going to come out in the new Bill and Ted movie that it's all fucking tied together. No, you <laughs> fucked it up, dude. You <laughs> fucked it up. You totally fucked up all I'm, that. I'm just excited for the Bill and Ted movie. I mean, and I then, the here's the part. One. Here's the part you fucked up. You and didn't watch him. any of the John Wick movies. Yeah. How do you, how are you a man you didn't watch fucking John Wick? I don't know. And I'm not even one of those people that go, how are you man if you don't like steak? Like, yeah. I'm not, how, dude? Yeah, I I just never got, I got John Wick. Him. I got John Wick 3 and it's it's a hard fucking thing. Yeah. Um are they on streaming services or do I have yeah. to go buy a DVD? I still no, have... you got to start John Wick 1. That's yeah. the best one. Do you think it, is John it... Wick 2 is kind of like hokey and then three is like super super fucking dope it, as fuck is dude. it worth buying because i'm still the type yeah of, like yeah. i'll go out and buy them i'd rather do that than streaming services. i think one and three make up for fucking how insignificant Medi- mediocre two, two is, two is. Yeah. yeah just like many that's kind of the curse of a lot of trilogy sequels yeah not the empire strikes bro back. i gotta take a piss again dude. go pee can you fill up time if i go yeah. piss how long are you gonna be okay just run see. off on uh yeah, fucking however yeah. long it takes to piss, it's not going to be 10 so, minutes. So let's talk about, go ahead and go. And okay. I'll just talk about <laughs> Keanu Reeves movies, okay? So Keanu Reeves movies, I think the first, 
I don't. I'm not gonna say that the first Keanu Reeves movie I saw was Bill and Ted's because I'm pretty sure it was Speed first. Speed first, and then I watched Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Is there anybody else out there that's a Bill and Ted fan, or is it just me? Like I, when I saw the new trailer for Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, I was super excited, and everybody else seems to not care. The Matrix movies were amazing, though. Definitely groundbreaking as far as uh, movie making technology. That's a tough one. We should do that. When Mike gets back, we're going to do like top five or top three. Top five is too easy for a single actor, but top three Keanu Reeves movies. Let me think here what my favorite is. Point Break is probably my favorite Keanu Reeves movie. And it's not necessarily for Keanu Reeves, but uh, oh, a light went out. The batteries are dead. Keanu Reeves is all right in that movie, but the the supporting cast and Patrick Swayze is great in that movie. That's a good movie. That was the first movie I saw that made me want to go surfing. But I live in Washington, and it's cold, and we don't have good waves out here. Speed? Mm, I can give or take speed. Probably, would the Matrix movies count as one? Matrix 1, 2, and 3? Put it in the comments. Let me know. Top three Keanu Reeves movies. You can only have three. Wait, this is what I was just talking about. Yep. With the uh, with Keanu, if you're trying to your your favorite Keanu Reeves movies, one to three, you can only choose three. Would you consider the Matrix one movie series? Just like you'd consider it, like like because me and my friends do that all the time. Like, oh, what's your favorite movie series? Top three, and we'll be like Star Wars. You know what I mean? And that counts as one, even though it was three movies, the original trilogy. Or would you have to pick and choose? Top three favorite Keanu Reeves movies go. Um, Matrix, I think. The Matrix trilogy. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, number two, Point Break. Yeah, that was my number one. Just because the sporting Patrick Swayze is so yeah. good in that movie. There's some random uh, movie where he's a Russian dude. <laughs> no, Constantine. Constantine. Okay. Oh, yeah, Constantine. I forgot about But it's that. not a series. It's just one. Yeah. No, it's hard Con- because there's only like four identifiable Con- yeah. Keanu Con- Reeves ones. Constantine, I think, would be if Shia LaBeouf wasn't in it, that would be like in my top three. But I can't. St- I just can't stand him. Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. Can't stand him. I used to love those Transformers movies. The problem with Keanu Reeves is he's so similar in all. Even you look at yeah Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Yeah. He's a less goofy Johnny Utah, or he's a more. He's the same Johnny fucking Utah. person. No, Johnny Utah isn't that. Keanu Reeves could be in Dude, Where's My Car, and it would be the same fucking. That's what fucking dude where's my car is is bill and ted's they tried to fucking recreate that yeah that's very true he's been in so many movies yeah but i would say uh constantine was good yeah matrix number one i, I watched everyone yeah um john wick it's See? hard to place like where i put him i think yeah and it doesn't even have to be one two and three it's i would just... say matrix uh, John Wick series, and then Bill and Ted's. Bill and Ted's. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna right venture on. on that. Yeah, yeah. What about you? Bill and Ted's was so for me. Point Break is in the top three, and it's just like Patrick Swayze is great in that movie, and Keanu Reeves isn't even great in that movie. But I think that's the first Keanu Reeves movie I yeah. watched. I think yeah, and I was and I was just saying that like I I didn't because Bill and Ted's I think is his oldest one. I don't think I think that was his first movie. Yeah. And then it was like Point Break after that, or I don't. Or you know, yeah. They're coming out with a new Bill and Ted's, and I don't like the idea that they're parents. Yeah. So yeah, and it because you can't act, you can't act stupid as a parent. You can't like all that yeah. shit. Yeah, I mean yeah. they're stupid parents, yeah. but like I'm My, interested. I essentially I'm interested to see 
how what the storyline yeah. is going to be for you. So my issue is, which is fucking retarded to think yeah. because it's Bill and Ted. You shouldn't want to know what the storyline <laughs> is. It's they yeah. just go back in time, bro. Yeah. The we, second one, they fucking yeah, they we, fucking went to medieval times yeah. and like some we unrealistic talk, shit. We talked to Socrates. Yeah, that's what they call him. Yeah. To me, this looks more like the new one looks. While I'm excited to see it, you know what I mean? It's it's it looks like a reboot. Where it's it's gonna be? I think it's a money grab, dude. Yeah, I think it's a fucking. They just is there, want is there money. Anything else that comes out of Hollywood now? Like Hollywood is so fucking terrible for original content right now. So let's because I'm gonna this movie e- even we'll, me knowing that yeah. I'm gonna go and give them money yeah. because I want to yeah. see what the fucking last Bill and Ted episode is. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I just like Keanu Reeves. He's a he's a solid dude in real yeah. life. So. So I want to give you some theories. Yes. Yeah. Let me hear your theories because I don't know anything about John. This John is I. I've, I've been talking about it for a while, and I said it initially before I even looked into anything, and everybody's like, "There's no fucking way." And surprisingly, yeah. people fought it, fought me on it. I'm like, "You right. don't even fight to go to the fucking voting booth." Yeah. And you're like, <laughs> like I don't vote, bro. And then you just want to fucking argue. It's even like Trump supporters and whatever. Yeah. They're just like. Fucking Hillary Clinton! And it's like you didn't fucking vote. Who the fuck are you talking about? Uh, you shouldn't. Here's the deal: if you don't vote, you shouldn't fucking be able to fucking say shit about either let, party. Yeah, let me. Yeah, so yes, that and to, like if you want to complain, so that. But but people, oh, I only vote for president. Why? Your local politicians have so much. This more is what power I'm saying, fuck dude. You in the ass. Absolutely. Like it's a great spectacle to watch the federal yeah. government. Yeah, but they're so they're on the other side of the country. Well, what happens in D.C. Doesn't for the mean fucking? Shit there's a mayor in D.C. and a fucking yeah. governor. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in this mystical land known as the District yeah. of Columbia, which is not a state that exists in that, Maryland, that might as well be Mount Olympus. And those are yeah, all gods dude. just bickering amongst. Like, each think other. about it. Yeah, the fucking governor of Washington affects us more than fucking Trump Absolutely. or fucking yeah. Hillary Clinton or any of them. Your city. Look at Seattle right now with their city council, bro. And just Trump can't do shit about it, not right? A fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. I'm gonna send troops. <laughs> I'm gonna send. I tried federal... to do his voice. So I was yeah. like, I'm gonna send troops. <laughs> I'm gonna send officers. They're gonna be huge. They'll be. The, yeah. They'll be the best <laughs> officers <huge>. ever. <laughs> They'll be the most federalist of federal a... governors ever. How far we've come that you Donald think you're Trump, you yeah. think you're a governor? I'll send fifteen governors. Yeah, I'll send <laughs> a new governor. He'll be huge. That's the funny thing about Trump yeah. is even if you like him, you can make fun of his voice. Yeah, absolutely. Like, it's like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I like doing uh like Bernie Sanders is real good. I'm once again asking you like to give me more. That's money. a meme, bro. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I the, did a yeah. meme with the fucking death cheetah. It That's is like, true. I'm asking again yeah. for you, like, so yeah. much. <laughs> I'll give you podcast. What we're going to do is we're going to get more money, and then we won't know how to spend it, and we'll just put it on ridiculous stuff, and then I'll buy another house. I don't know. I'm Bernie Sanders. He's another one that's got a weird fucking... He's got a lot of cheeks. Yeah, he does. A lot of cheeks. Yeah. Got... Let me tell you my fucking perspective oh, yeah. on the fucking Keanu Reeves thing and the fucking... Uh... Let me tell you my perspective on the Matrix... <laughs> This is how I got my jaws. I uh, this is unpopular. Okay. All right. This is very unpopular. Okay. I became more sober as I started drinking. It's super weird. I'm more yeah. collected. You are, yeah. The I was in a sorry. void. I was in a void where yeah. I was like, I'm super drunk right now. You were, <laughs> like you were on the cusp. Yeah, yeah. For a little bit. But yeah. it's good for cod for the procast. <laughs> Violent procast. Started calling it that because of the fucking twitters. Violent professional podcast. At yeah. Violent Procast because yeah. Twitter won't allow me to put violent professional because they only allow a certain amount of characters for sh- handles. That's Ooh. why. Oh, it's yeah. Like 13 or something. Right? Dude, it's yeah. stupid. Yeah. I have violent professional everywhere because nobody fucking thought about it. Right. But I had violent professional on Facebook, Instagram, fucking Pinterest. When I try to make it <laughs> fucking podcast tables. That's where you should put your fucking, uh, your recipe books on yeah, fucking dude. Pinterest. Yeah. Oh, we, we didn't even Cheddar talk about that shit, ramen. dude. Yeah. I gotta bring that up. Yeah. That's a new fucking. That's a whole different podcast. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's at Twitter on Violent Procast, and I just straight slay people. Yeah, <laughs> straight slay because yeah. that's what they do on Twitter. It's fucking yeah gnarly. It's... I have no followers on there. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it's Violent Procast. Procast, yeah. 
Anyway, um, my theory on John Wick, surprisingly enough, people push back. Weird. I don't understand why they push back so much on this fucking idea. Right. It's so fucking obvious. If you just look objectively, I I have watched every Matrix movie. I have not looked at the comics because that's where a bunch of nerds sit. Right. You know what I mean. You look at yeah. fucking Star Wars comics, I'm sure. Yeah, absolutely. You're a Star Wars fan. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of fucking canon outside of the fucking nonsense. Yeah. That's now not canon anymore, but sure. You know, I don't even yeah. know what that means. I, I just yeah. said the word because I know that's a thing. It means Disney says it's real or it's not real. Yeah, okay. Yeah. This is just Star Wars. Okay, movie. we'll just say there's a bunch of other yeah. stories that attribute to the actual story Yeah. that aren't authentic, but they're made in the fucking... Yeah. George Lucas says, okay. Yeah. That anyway. Can, that can be in the universe. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Um... I'm going to go out on a ledge and say John Wick is Neo from the Matrix. Okay. In what context, though? You haven't seen the movie, so you're a horrible yeah. guest at this part. Yeah. If you had seen the movies, Sorry. you would fight me on it. I'm guaranteed. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to put this out for anybody. Everybody's like, no! And they're fucking slamming their fists. They're like, no fucking way! Because I'll like say this to my mom, and she's like, you're an asshole. I should have aborted you. <laughs> I'm like, God damn it. I didn't yeah. even know you watched it. She's like, I didn't, but I went... <laughs> It's so polarizing. Yeah, it yeah. is. It's like more polarizing than left and right. So, so I'm going to say this. You, which one did you watch? Matrix or fucking, you didn't watch John Wick. I haven't seen any John So Wick. you understand the fucking Matrix and how he uploads shit into yeah. his being and he can apply it to the rest of the Matrix. Yes. Game. There's also, in the Matrix, there's additional timelines of yeah. different versions of Neo. Yes. Okay, so there's versions of Neo that have never taken the red pill. Oh. Right? I, I see what you're saying. I already know where you're going, and that makes total sense. Okay. Because when he's talking to that dude at the end, he's like, you're the 27th or, or 17th yes. or whatever. They say it in fucking, which yeah. is that, episode or fucking the, chapter? That's the third one. Third one, where yeah. he learns Revolu all the stuff. Revolutions or whatever. He's already speaking code. He already yeah. knows all that shit. Like, yeah. the first, first, uh, first movie was where he learned that he could see the fucking things right when he's fighting yeah mr wilson yeah it was, it was the second movie where he could actually like see it with his eyes the first one he was still just it's hard to if yeah. you know i've seen all of them yeah 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 they kind of blend together yeah yeah so he learns all this stuff and like he punches through the walls because he knows there's things over yeah, there and whatever stops bullets and shit yeah there's also sides of neo where he takes the blue hill he yeah. shuts it all off yeah. He does all that stuff. There's all these different timelines, multiple universes. Right. Well, what if you take the fucking blue pill after you've been in the Matrix and you understand? But so, but now you have an understanding that where you're at is not Yes. Real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what if Neo downloaded all of this fucking kung fu fighting and these gunfighting skills right. into his being and he takes the blue pill after because he realizes how hard it is to understand that... He's in this area where he has all these special skills, but he's able to do all this crazy shit. If you look at Matrix and fucking John Wick, yeah. he fights very similar. It's the same thing. It's the yeah. same fucking thing. Yeah. Without all the flashy fucking dip down whatever, which is unrealistic. And if you look at- Yeah, 27 If hours. you were to take the fucking blue pill, right, and you were right. to cut off the fucking whole existence and knowledge of the Matrix, which is like- Oh, I know I could fucking hang out with people right. in this fucking super orgy, and right. then I could go fucking fight and do all this crazy shit. If you just take the blue pill after you've done all this shit, and you were able to fucking dip down on your heels and fucking go into you'd be like, what fucking happened? Yeah. Like, you were like, I can do fucking karate. <laughs> you know You know what I mean? Yeah. If you were to fucking zip down while people are shooting at you, Yeah. you'd be totally fuck. you would be like, what seriously? What just fucking happened? If you yeah. lost all existence of this super ability, fucking matrix type of world, right? Where you're totally incapable on the other side, other than having a giant dirt orgy in yeah. the background with all this yeah. slimy fucking people that yeah. are just fucking each other in, in a, a fucking in cave. a fucking yeah. human pile in yeah. a cave. Yeah, like 
you would talk. With, with trap music over <laughs> yeah. the top of it. Yeah. And imagine yeah. if that was your existence and then you took the blue pill and you're just like. I just don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> yeah. Like, and then you're back and you're in the middle of this giant dirt orgy and you're back in the fucking <laughs> world. And you're like, what happened? And you're in a fucking cubicle. And you're like, oh, I know Kung Fu. And then you're like, wow, you would definitely be a Russian counter agent for the cia absolutely think about it yeah i say it ridiculously but that's yeah. the truth yeah i'm gonna fucking venture guess seeing as the, as the two directors are friends yeah seeing as the two directors no it's three directors because you got those two the, fucking transgendered the, people that the, created the matrix the cohen they, brothers yeah. Slash sisters yeah the, the cohen fisters that didn't understand where they were <laughs> and now they created something imag- fucking yeah. mystical and fucking magical. Yeah. Something. And then John Wick, which is literally ridiculous. Right. If you think about it. That right. dude should be dead 15 years ago. Absolutely. And then they're coming out of the same fucking day. 20 years fucking later. Yeah. And they can all do fucking crouching tiger hidden dragon <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. Come on. And it's amazing when I fucking spell this out for people that they're like, no fucking way. I'm like, it what the fuck are we? Are we in the Matrix? Are you kidding me? It makes it makes It's sense. a fucking movie. Someone wrote it. Yeah. It's totally possible. They, yeah. Like, literally, I've written shit where it's like, no one understands that. Oh, my God. It's the same thing. Yeah. That makes so just the little. I bit. am fucking putting it out here. The the fucking Matrix and John Wick are the same thing. John Wick is the fucking John yeah. Wick's is a dude who got into the fucking Matrix, downloaded his his fucking special skills, right, and then fucking took the blue pill because John, it was too yeah. hard. I'm gonna. Like, it's like maybe John, not the same thing, but it's probably that. John Wick is like an alternate Neo, and in, in an alternate universe yes. or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. It's not the well, main storyline. Even in even in the Matrix, when when he's talking to that old fucking Colonel Sanders looking dude at the end who's sitting in the chair. And there's all the TVs behind him, and he says something, and then there's like a hundred different reactions before Neo actually says anything that he could be one of those Neos. That's a that's a damn good theory, dude. That's a really good. Theory. That's what I think. That's what I think. And people that rail against that are just—I don't think they have the capacity for that type of thought. That's all it is. There's, it's the like, same. What? Earth is flat. Those are the same people that are like. There's a southern accent again. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Earth is flat, and if I get my son vaccines, he'll get autism. It's like, no, he's going to get autism because you're an asshole. Yeah. That's why. Yeah, because retarded. Because you feed him KFC yeah. on every fucking meal. Yeah. It fucking... has nothing to do with a vaccine that will, that solves an incurable disease. Yeah. You fucking dick face. Cure polio. Fuck that. It causes autism. Oh. He'll walk around with no fucking legs. I don't give a shit. I would rather have a dead son than the <laughs> son with autism. <laughs> hey, you know, a son with autism seems horrible. Cause you that... know, all talking to me and stuff and going, I'm super smart. Yeah. But I'm socially awkward. Because that was, let's let's be <laughs> honest here. Like, I wouldn't want a son with autism because that would make my life hard. Let's be brutally yeah. honest here. Yeah. Yeah. People are fucked up, man. Oi! I fucking hate people. That's why I wish yeah. The Matrix and John Wick were real. Yeah. In my heart, they're real. <laughs> let's give a high five and a point, bro. Yes. No, other hand. You gotta other get, hand. Are you grabbing your dick? That's not point. a point. We're going to do a high five and a point and oh. do a cheetah growl at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, you ready? Wow. We didn't have to make that sound. I oh, made it I on the no. fucking uh, editor. I think mine's better. And with that, kids, thank you for joining us on the Vibe Professional Podcast. I hope you like the theories about fucking Everything. John Wick, Matrix, and vaccines. Goodbye. <laughs>